<laughs> there seems to be some issue with the power supply, due to which the ice in the refrigerator has melted. Kitty needs ice. Well, for that, we need to visit a glacier. Hey friends, in today's episode, let us visit this cold region on the planet and explore some fantastic information about this white paradise we call Glacier. Zoom in! So, what are glaciers? Glaciers are huge masses of ice made up of fallen snow that can be as small as soccer fields while others grow to be hundreds of kilometers long. Although these icy white masses may look rock solid, but you will be surprised to know that they aren't steady and slowly keep floating across the land they have resided upon, similar to how the rivers flow. Hence, they are bestowed with the title of Rivers of Ice. Glaciers are of two types, alpine glaciers and ice sheets. Yes, the alpine glaciers, also known as valley glaciers or mountain glaciers, tend to form along the mountain sides and move downwards through the valleys due to pressure. In comparison, the ice sheets cross the boundaries of the mountain areas when they form. At first, they create a dome in the center from which they spread out in all directions and cover the landforms such as hills, mountains and valleys. But the cold question is, how are the glaciers formed? Glaciers begin forming in places where a large amount of snow accumulates each year than melts. Once the snow falls, it starts to compress or become denser and tightly packed and slowly changes from light crystals to hard ice pellets we call neve. After this, when more snow falls over the old ones, it buries the neve underneath, compressing it further and turning it into dense, grainy ice called fern, an intermediate state between snow and glacier ice. This process of snow compacting into glacial fern is called fernification. And as time goes by, after many years and many snowfalls, layers of fern build on top of each other. And when the ice grows thick enough, the fern grains fuse into a huge mass of solid ice forming the glaciers, which could take over a hundred years until we see them slowly free-flowing on serene water. But do not underestimate them by the way they move. Yes, although glaciers move gently, they are a force to reckon with and can destroy almost everything in their path, even dense forests Mighty hills and mountainsides are no match for glaciers. Also, as these glaciers move, they erode or wear away the land beneath and around them. These white masses carry enormous amounts of rock, soil and clay. And some of the boulders they carry are as big as an elephant. But here is a thing to remember, my friends. Glacier ice today stores about three-fourths of all the fresh water in the world. Many people believe that if temperatures across the globe increased enough that the glaciers melted, sea levels would increase significantly, leading to floods along the coastal lines. Yes, we have witnessed a rise in sea levels every year and scientists believe that melting glaciers could be a significant reason behind it. It is still unclear how much the sea level might eventually rise because of melting glaciers. But what is clear to all is that the Earth's average temperature has been increasing dramatically in recent times. And 
glaciers are important indicators of global warming and climate change in several ways that could have a severe effect on not only humans but also other creatures. Yes, the increase in the level of fresh water will impact the ocean ecosystem as there are many organisms like corals and other saltwater fishes that depend on salt water for survival. They may not be able to adjust to more fresh water habitat. So, it's to save the world from drowning, we need to stop the temperature from rising. Trivia time! Did you know, unlike red and yellow light waves, blue light can penetrate snow and ice? Yes, and hence this penetration results in making those glaciers appear blue. Also, talking about physical characteristics, Antarctica's Lambert's Glacier, which is said to be the largest, is about 270 miles long and 60 miles wide. Hope you learned something in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Never mind.